How passwords are compromised. In today's digital age, passwords are the primary line of defense for securing personal and organizational data. Despite advancements in cybersecurity, password breaches remain a significant threat, often leading to severe consequences. Understanding the various methods attackers use to compromise passwords is crucial for enhancing security measures and protecting sensitive information. This introduction will delve into the common techniques employed by cybercriminals to steal passwords, highlighting the importance of robust password policies and practices in mitigating these risks. Capture. Intercepting passwords as they are transmitted over a network is a common attack method. This approach typically involves eavesdropping on network traffic. Attackers use various techniques to capture users' passwords while they are being transmitted. Some of these techniques include Man in the middle, MITM attacks. In this type of attack, the attacker secretly intercepts the communication between the user and the target server. The user enters their password without realizing the attacker is in the middle, capturing the login credentials. Packet sniffing. This involves monitoring and analyzing data packets on a network. Attackers can easily capture passwords transmitted in plain text by intercepting network traffic. This method is particularly effective in unencrypted networks. SSL stripping. This attack downgrades HTTPS connections to HTTP, causing passwords to be transmitted without encryption. In this scenario, the secure connection between the user and the website is disrupted, allowing the attacker to see the traffic in plain text. One of the most effective ways to protect against these types of attacks is to ensure all network traffic is encrypted and to use secure connections, HTTPS. Additionally, Users should be cautious when logging in over networks and avoid using untrusted networks. Brute force. Brute force attacks use a systematic and automated method to guess passwords. In this type of attack, the attacker tries various combinations until the correct password is found. Brute force attacks typically involve dictionary attacks. Attackers use a dictionary of commonly used passwords and try them one by one. For example, passwords like 12456, password, and QWERTY are quickly tested. Combination trials. In more complex brute force attacks, combinations of letters, numbers, and symbols are automatically tested. This method can eventually crack even strong passwords, but it takes a long time. Password lists. Attackers use lists of previously compromised passwords, attempting these passwords again. These lists are often obtained from leaked databases. Ways to protect against brute force attacks include using strong and complex passwords, limiting the number of password attempts, and using two-factor authentication, 2FA. These measures significantly increase the difficulty of successful brute force attacks. Search. Passwords stored electronically within IT infrastructure can be searched for and captured by attackers. This typically involves targeting passwords stored in systems or databases. Attackers use various techniques to find and exploit these passwords. Database attacks. Attackers infiltrate databases to steal stored passwords. Databases with weak security measures are particularly vulnerable to such attacks. System vulnerabilities. Security flaws or vulnerabilities can make it easier for attackers to infiltrate systems and capture passwords. This can be due to outdated software or weak configurations. Backup files. If passwords are stored in plain text in system backups, these files become a target for attackers. The security of backup files is often overlooked, but their compromise can lead to severe security breaches. To protect against these types of attacks, it is essential to regularly review the security of databases and systems, use strong encryption techniques, and apply security patches promptly. Physical theft of passwords. Storing passwords in insecure ways can lead to their theft through various methods, including paper or physical notes. Writing passwords on paper and storing them openly poses a risk of easy discovery and theft. Notes left in visible places like desks are easy targets for attackers. Electronic documents. Storing passwords in plain text within electronic files can lead to their theft if these files are compromised. This is a significant risk especially on unsecured computers. Hidden files. The physical theft devices where passwords are stored is also a concern. For example, if a laptop or mobile device is stolen, the passwords stored on these devices are at risk. To protect against password theft, it is essential to store and manage passwords securely. 
using password managers to encrypt passwords, avoiding the use of paper notes, and ensuring the physical security of devices are crucial steps. Guest-based attacks. Using personal information to guess passwords is a common method that exploits users' predictable habits. In these attacks, attackers attempt to guess users' passwords based on easily obtainable information. Personal information. Names, birth dates, and pet names are frequently used in passwords. Attackers use this information to make educated guesses about passwords. Social media information. Information shared on social media profiles can also be used for password guessing. For example, birth dates, favorite things, and other shared details can be used to make password guesses. To protect against these types of attacks, it is essential to avoid using personal information in passwords. Using strong and random passwords can provide protection against guest-based attacks. Social engineering. Social engineering involves techniques where attackers manipulate people to obtain their passwords. These attacks exploit users' trust, leading them to disclose sensitive information, phishing. This method involves using fake emails or websites to capture users' passwords. Users, thinking the site or email is legitimate, enter their passwords, which are then sent to the attackers. Pretexting. Attackers create a fabricated story or scenario to obtain information from users. For example, pretending to be a technical support representative and asking for a password is a common pretexting tactic. Baiting. This technique involves luring users with an attractive offer to get them to disclose information. For instance, giving away a free USB drive loaded with malware and convincing the user to use it is a baiting attack. To protect against social engineering attacks, users need to be aware and cautious of suspicious emails and messages. Additionally, user education and awareness programs are critical fence mechanisms against these types of attacks. Keyloggers. A keylogger is a type of malicious software that records everything a user types on their keyboard. This software is often used to capture users' passwords. Software keyloggers. These are programs installed on a computer that record keystrokes and send this information to the attacker. These programs typically run as background processes, making them difficult to detect. Hardware keyloggers. Small devices placed between the keyboard and the computer, these keyloggers capture keystrokes. While they require physical access to install, they can be hard to detect once in place. To protect against keyloggers, using up-to-date antivirus software, downloading software from trusted sources, and keeping your computer physically secure are effective measures. Additionally, using virtual keyboards or two-factor authentication can provide extra layers of security. Shoulder surfing. Shoulder surfing involves observing someone as they enter their password to steal it. This method is commonly used in crowded or public places. Physical observation. The attacker watches the user enter their password without the user noticing. The attacker observes the screen or keyboard as the user types their password. Remote monitoring. Using cameras or long-range surveillance devices, an attacker can watch a person enter their password from a distance. This method is particularly common when security cameras are misused. To protect against shoulder surfing, it is important to be aware of your surroundings and take measures to ensure privacy when entering passwords. Using screen protectors or privacy filters can also be effective in preventing such attacks. Conclusion. Understanding the various methods attackers use to compromise passwords is essential for enhancing security. By being aware of these techniques and implementing robust security practices, such as using strong passwords, encryption, two-factor authentication, and maintaining physical and digital vigilance, individuals and organizations can significantly reduce the risk of password theft and protect their sensitive information.